hi everyone you all are welcome to my youtube channel in this problem we are given that three circles with centers c1 c2 c3 with their radii r1 r2 and r3 given and these centers are collinear means uh, they lie in a straight line c2 touches two other circles externally c2 touches this circle with center c1 and this circle with center c3 and this pq is a direct common tangent this is also a direct common tangent we have to find the value of this radius in terms of this circle's radius and this circle's radius this is very interesting question but it is very simple based on 9th and 10th standard geometry we know that uh, radius and tangent at the point of contact will be perpendicular let the point of contact be a b and c so c1 a c2 b c3 b these radii are perpendicular to the direct common tangent and the point of contact are points a b and c now we draw perpendicular to bc2 from c1 and to cc3 from c2 so we have drawn c1m and c2m perpendicular to bc2 and cc3 respectively now this is a rectangle and this is a rectangle means this is parallel to pq and this is parallel to pq it means that c1m and c2n are parallel and if these two lines are parallel then this c1 c2 c3 line will be transversal and therefore this angle will be equal to this angle these two triangles now we are considering c1 and c2 and c2 and c3 and now we are going to prove that these two triangles are similar so this angle is equal to this angle each 90 degree this angle is equal to this angle corresponding angle so by a a test of similarity these two are similar so by a a test of similarity m these two triangles are similar then corresponding sides will be proportional we can say that mc2 by nc3 is equal to c1 c2 by c2 c3 since corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional now this this is r1 and this full thing is r2 so from here to here this is r1 only and from here to here it is r2 so only mc2 will be r2 minus r1 so this is r2 minus r1 and similarly this nc3 is r3 minus r2 since from here to here it is r3 and from here to here it is r2 so to get this nc3 subtract r2 from r3 so r3 minus r2 will be nc3 this from here to here it is r1 and from here to it is r2 so c1 c2 will be r1 plus r2 and similarly c2 c3 will be r2 plus r3 substituting these facts here mc2 mc2 is r2 minus r1 so we will write r2 minus r1 upon nc3 nc3 is r3 minus r2 is equal to c1 c2 is r1 plus r2 and c2 c3 is r2 plus r3 r2 minus r1 by r1 plus r2 or r1 plus r2 by r2 minus r1 and so we can rewrite it as r1 plus r2 by r2 minus r1 this i took in right hand side and this uh, we will take in left hand side so will be r2 plus r3 upon r3 minus r2 
if we use componendo and dividendo means numerator plus denominator upon numerator minus denominator is equal to numerator plus denominator upon numerator minus denominator then we will get r1 plus r2 plus r2 minus r1 upon numerator minus denominator r1 plus r2 minus of this means minus r2 plus r1 upon r2 plus r3 minus r3 plus r2 so r1 and r1 will get cut in this case minus r2 and r2 will get cancelled in this r2 and minus r2 will get cancelled and r3 and r3 cancels so we got from this we got r2 plus r2 2 r2 r1 plus r1 2 r1 which is equal to r3 r3 2 r3 and r2 r2 2 r2 so 2 and 2 will get cancelled r2 into r2 is r2 square and r1 into r3 so we finally found r2 square is equal to r1 into r3 and that is r1 is equal to under r2 is equal to under root r1 into r3 and this means this radius r radius r2 is the geometric mean of r1 and r r3 so radius of the middle circle will be geometric mean of the uh, this first circle and this bigger circle and that is the answer